Christy from the Cat Cafe Lounge in Los Angeles. I'm going to ask her some questions about her whole new business here. So how, when did you, did you just come up with this idea or what was your inspiration? Uh, Japan. We went to Japan in 2015. The moment that we went into this cat cafe, it there was very few in the U.S. I didn't even know there was any at the time. And the space was just, it was beautiful. It looked like somebody's home and all these cats were running around. Um, and I just thought, why wouldn't we add in <laughs> that cat's just sneezing? Cat sneezing. I was like, why wouldn't we add in the element, though, of, of having them be adoptable? <laughs> uh, we incorporated it, incorporated it as a nonprofit in 2016. And um, we actually had a property that um, didn't turn to work out in the long run. And so then we ended up opening up here. So about your design, um, who helped you with this? Who did the design? Because this is, there are so many different elements yeah. to this that is so perfect for cats. In terms of the overall design and the feel of the space, it was actually my sister-in-law. Yeah. yeah, she's an architect and uh, very good with design. So we sort of collaborated in terms of like what I know about cats. The tree was an inspiration from a tree that was in Japan. Um, it was just very visually stunning, but then I wanted to um, make the space for the cats. And so we designed things to be higher up for them so that as they get socialized within the space, um, they can choose when they want to come down and when they're ready to be socialized with. The, the key cat features were um, custom made and donated to me by Silverado Salvage and Design, uh, Jeff Mack. He donated the, custom made the tree and the, um, the little uh, catwalk as well as our birch forest. Um, he custom made that as well and donated it to us. And can people have like birthday events here or parties or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. And What's that look like? Do they rent the space? A couple different ways. We've had it done two different ways so far as they can come in and if it's just a small party they can come in and be with the rest of the population but we also do allow people to rent the space out if they want. So how did the Cats and Comedy event go and are you going to have more? We are. We're going to try to do them monthly. The um, producer that we work with is um, reaching out to the comics now. The, everybody was like live streaming and Instagramming and then the producer that we're working with she was getting texts like as it was going on of comedians like how can I participate? This is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Who's this? This is Earl. Earl, Hi, Earl. Gray. what are you doing? Are you going to get the phone? So, what is Paws Yoga? Paws Yoga is our take on the cat cafe yoga that sort of seems like a, a you know, standard staple within cat cafes, but we try to take a different approach of cats are restorative, so let's do a restorative class. That's why we took a restorative approach so that it's more like on your back or seat mat based, um, where we have um, mats that are designed for cats as well. So um, Feline Yogi provides the cat mats and um, the, the cats love it, people love it. I mean, they come in, they're like super stressed and well, when people come in here generally, they come out and they're, and they're just like so stress relief, but then adding that element of yoga with turning the lights down and good music, you know, and, and some candles, uh, flameless candles. Um, yeah, flameless. Yeah. Very important flameless yeah. candles. Uh, yes. It really sets the tone and, and people <laughs> leave and like, they can, it's hard to get them to leave because they're just sort of like, I can't leave, I'm so yeah. zen out right now. Sorry, what, what rescue groups do you work with um, is it only two or do you have others? We work with two uh, right now. It's SNP LA and uh, uh, Stray Cat Alliance. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, and yeah, and we'll be doing like kitten parties and things like that. As you know, it's kitten season and we, we focus on the adults because they are the more at risk of being euthanized, especially during kitten season. Um, but they are also flooded with kittens and they need help because those kittens get euthanized if they don't get adopted or the neonatals do so um, we'll do kitten parties to help them move some of that volume. So the adoption process for here is it do you just follow the guidelines of the recipe that you're working with? Yep exactly yep they, they facilitate everything um, and it goes through their through their adoption process. So they um, charge 125 to adopt a cat and of course they're all spayed, neutered, microchipped and vaccinated so that adds value to the new adopter that they don't have to like rush to the vet immediately to like go make sure the cat's healthy and, and has all their vaccinations. And then we provide, um, Cat Cafe Lounge provides every adopter with um, an adoption kit that's free. Most organizations will um, put a fee on that but my belief is let's provide people um, the tools to have a, a successful integration of their new family member. So we offer, uh, we put in our adoption kit 20 pounds of litter. We have snacks, um, or snacks, <laughs> we have treats. <laughs> 
Yeah. It is exactly it is. So we have we have treats, um, and then we also um, have coupons to Pet Food Express um, to help. It's a twenty percent off coupon, which is really great for like when they are ready to to buy more litter, or buy more food, they can go and take advantage of that there. Um, so everybody gets that for free, and then we also in that adoption kit put a behavior packet just oh, of cool. anything that might pop up as your kitty's trying to transition to its new environment of yeah. yeah, like how to how to exactly work with them on the adjustment, um, or if for whatever reason you know they get to a new home, they are freaked out, maybe they have potty behaviors. There's a whole document in there that comes um, so all this document, all these behavioral info comes That's from cool. comes from best friends and. It's all their sort of like tips and tricks of how to integrate your kitty comfortably into their new environment. And what are your hours and the days that you're open so people know and the address? Yeah, right. Uh, it's in West LA, uh, 1736 South Sepulveda. So we're at the corner of Santa Monica Boulevard and uh, Sepulveda. We're open every day but Tuesday from 11 to 8 p.m. Okay, so how much does it cost to come to the Cat Cafe Lounge? So since we're a nonprofit, we ask for a $25 donation per person. So donation to us, and it's considered tax deductible uh, right off to the consumer when they come in. We give uh, free coffee and tea with that reservation or with admission as well. That um, donation request is to help keep the place open and keep it alive and help keeping um, keeping care of the cats. Um, we always recommend that people do make a reservation because as we're growing and getting more and more busy, um, we only allow 15 people in here at a time for the safety of the cats. Um, and we make it really easy. We have everything accessible online or through our, our social media media channels where people can reserve the date and time that works best for their schedule. Thank you. Sure.